Hey guys, it's Rhett here. The example I have for you today uh, from VCE Chemistry is an acid-base titration. So hopefully throughout the year at some point you guys will be playing around in the labs with um, burettes and pipettes and all that fun stuff. So the example we have is that a student wished to analyze the acidic nature of vinegar. She measured a 100 ml sample of vinegar and transferred it to a 250 ml volumetric flask adding deionized water up to the mark. So really this uh, first step here is a dilution. Very common first step to dilute your sample. Next she took a 20 ml aliquot of the diluted vinegar and titrated this against a standardized 0.985 molar sodium hydroxide solution. The titration was completed in quadruplicate so we did this four times and tighter values of 20.43, 47, 58, and 45 were recorded. Answer the following questions. A balanced chemical equation. We want to calculate the concentration of ethanoic or acetic acid, as it's also known, in the diluted vinegar. And then finally, the concentration back in my original sample. Now, feel free to laugh at my little sketches here. But essentially, what I've done is stepped out, so we started with our stock solution of the vinegar and grabbed 100 ml of it and then diluted it up to the mask up to the mark, sorry, in the volumetric flask. Um, we went from 100 ml up to 250 and we added water. We then pipette, we grabbed a highly accurate amount, an aliquot of 20 ml from the volumetric flask and popped it down here in my conical flask. So there's my vinegar containing the acetic acid. Filled the burette with sodium hydroxide and then performed the titrations and we did this process four times. Okay, so part A, let's write a balanced chemical equation. So I've got my acetic acid, CH3COOH, and I know it's a carboxylic acid plus my sodium hydroxide, the NaOH, aqueous. Okay, um, hopefully you know that an acid and a base creates a salt, CHACOO, Na, aqueous, and water, H2O. Okay, so that's my balanced chemical. Um, noting here that my mole ratios, because I simply swapped the Na and the H here to become Na in the water, one to one to one to one. Quite straightforward. B, calculating. Okay, so first I'll start with my the average of my titers. So you'll see here I've got four results, 20.43, 20.47, 58, and 45. You'll note here that this 58 seems a bit a bit strange. It's not a concordant result, as we used to say. So I'm actually going to disregard this 20.58. Okay. So the average will be just the three. So the average titer, 20.43 plus 20.47 plus 20.45 over 3, 43, 47 and 45, you'll find that the average there, 20.45 mil. Okay, now I want to work out the number of mole of sodium hydroxide that was added from the burette. So number of mole is equal to concentration times volume. As you recall up here, the concentration of sodium hydroxide was the 0 0.985. 0 0.985 multiply by, now just be careful, the volume of sodium hydroxide, 20.45, I just need to convert that to litres. 
0.02045, punch that into the calculator, 0.985 multiplied by 0.02045, 2.0143, and I'll just leave a few decimal places for now. Four decimals and I'll round off at the end. Okay, now I want to work out the number of mole of the acetic acid. This was contained in the aliquot. So here it is unknown. The acetic acid is 1 divided by known. So it's 1 over 1 multiplied by the number of mole of NaOH. Okay, so that is the same number, 2.0143 by 10 to the negative 2 mole. Okay, now finally I wanted to, the question I had asked, I wanted the concentration. So to convert this to concentration now, so concentration, CH3COOH, C equals N over V. And remember that this all came from, uh, it was in the 20 mil aliquot, that diluted vinegar. So, 2.0143, I tend to the negative 2, divided by, now 20 mils, again I have to convert that to litres, 0 0.02000. Okay, so I take that, divide it by 0.02, and I'm left with 1.007, and the unit here is molar, capital M, and remember that that's the same as moles per litre, as the question asked for. Um, for significant figures, uh, up here I had 3, the lowest was 3 with the sodium hydroxide, so I will take this to... 1.01 molar. Okay, last part of the question, part C. So we want to calculate the concentration in the original. Now, I'm um, just going back to my little sketch. Remember that this is the dilution factor here. So we went from 100 up to 250. So 250 divided by 100 is a dilution of two and a half. So my dilution factor is equal to 250 divided by 100 which is the 2.5. Finally the concentration of acetic acid in your original sample, dilution factor of 2.5 multiplied by the 1.007 that I calculated earlier. 2.5 times, whoops, 2.5 times 1.007, 2.52 molar. That's the end of the question, guys. As always, Thanks for watching, feel free to like and subscribe, and good luck with chemistry.